Hi, this is Mark with Shaw Rock. I'm going to introduce you to extension numbering and port numbering in the SV9100. Also, how cables are connected to the system and how extensions get out of the system to a block. I've logged into the system and as you can see it's a two chassis system. Chassis one here and the diagram is on the bottom. We have a VOIP card right here in slot one used for the tie lines. Slot two, we have a digital 16 port card, ports one through 16. Slot three, we have a digital eight port card with ports 17 through 24. Just as another example in chassis two, we have an analog card with an expansion module and it has ports 25 through 40. We have another card right here. It's another analog card with an expansion. Again, ports 41 through 56. The very last card, slot here 9, we have uh, just an 8 port analog card, ports 57 through 64. So, what does this look like in programming? Well, if you want to find an example here, we're going to use card slot 2, this digital card. We're going to use ports 1 through 16 for our example. If we access the system and download all the programming, we go to numbering plan, go to extension numbering. What we see is on the far left here, station ports, this is the physical location in the phone system. And then we have the extension number here. What I tell young techs is think of the station port as the address of a house but the person who occupies it can come and go and the name ch can change on the mailbox but the address always stays the same basically same example here station ports are here on the left extension numbers that can change are on the right bring up a little graphic here for you we can see Ports, station ports 1 through 16 are right here in programming. And they're programmed with these different numbers. In a real phone system, port 1 in programming is this physical port right here. So each, we have these 25 pair of cables. They're pre uh, installed with the, J, uh, the RJ61 connections. And they are attached through these eight pin connectors here. So this one pin here has ports one through four. Number two has ports five through eight. Number three has ports nine through 12. And number four has ports 13 through 16. And it goes on beyond that. So there's multiple up to uh, six of these cables per 25 pair. So if you look underneath, this would be number five here, and this would be number six here. And then we'd start over with number one and number two of the second 25 pair cable, and so on. If we take a close look at the pins, here's a physical pin that what it really looks like. I'll expand that for you. Uh, these are these four cables flipped over. And if you look very closely inside the center pins, it's not a RJ45, it's a RJ61, and how it's pinned out is different. The center two pins, pins four and five right here, this right here is the same as this. Look how it's pinned out. The center two pins are the white-blue pair. The next pins out are the white-orange pair. The next pins out are the white-green pair next pins out are the white brown pair. What we do is when these are made, if you'll notice all the primary colors are from pins one through four and the secondary colors, the, the blues, orange, greens, and browns are from are down here on five through six or five through eight and that's how they pin out and as you increase the number of these cables You'll notice here's number one. Here's our white-blue pair, white-orange pair, 
white green pair, white brown pair. And then number two, so this cable right here would start off with the white slate in the center and then it would work its way out uh, from there the pins 3 and 6, 7 and 2, 8 and 1. Cable 3, which is right here, ports 9 through 12. Same thing, it works its way out from the red blue pair, I'm sorry, red brown pair, and then works its way through these other pins from the center out. We have the red slate pair, black blue, black orange. The black green would be the next pin outs on the fourth cable. Center pins are the black green, and then it works its way out again from pins three and six, being the uh, green brown, two and seven being the black slate, one and eight being the yellow brown pair. Works our way all the way down to the violet brown on the number six cable. Last pair is violet brown, violet slate is spare. So now that we know how they come out of the system, we can go back into it and you can see right here, um, going back to the card view, we have our first two digital cards, our, pin, our uh, ports 1 through 24, and our first analog card starts at uh, port 25. Going back into programming, going to 1102 extension numbering, we can remember that the station ports are physically never changing, only the extension number can change. So if I have extension 1154 and it's not need, doesn't need to be used, but we need to change the extension for some time for some reason, I can, I know that this isn't being used. I can go into uh, port 24 and change who lives there now. I can make it uh, 11 or 2153 now and I can apply that and now I just change the extension number once I upload it it'll change it on the physical phone so pins 1 through 24 the pin 25 going back looking at our card view it's port 25 port 25 is the first port on our first analog card in chassis 2 slot 7 port 25. I'm going to go back to the extension numbering plan. Again, here it is. I've changed it. Now if I go into extension programming, which is a different location, that's in program 15, the 1501. Now if I look in programming, the intercom numbers will be in numerical order not poor order but numerical order. So now I change that number you can see there's no 1154 anymore it's not there. It's way down here all the way I guess I changed it to 2153 we won't worry about that though. So I can change the the uh, the number the name I mean on the phone to correspond with my extension number hit apply and upload those changes and to the system to make it active. If you change an extension number, it's best to unplug the phone and plug it in after you've made the change. So we're going to upload it. Let it finish. And at this point, I would go and have the phone unplug it and plug it back in. And if we go back to our numbering plan, extension numbering, physical ports, this is who lives there, I'm going to go change it back, apply, go back down into my extension programming and we'll notice now that the number is no longer at the bottom, it's in numerical order right here. There's the, the port that's now the extension 1154 again and I can go in there and update the name. Make 
Let's apply those. Upload. Wait for the upload to happen, and then I would reset the phone. Just on a side note, anytime you change a name on a display, you need to refresh the screen, either call it or lift the handset, and it'll, the screen will refresh and get the new updated name. All right, we're done. That's how that works. If you have any questions, or you, uh, just email us here at the help desk. That's helpdesk at shotrock.com. That's S H O T R O K.com. Thanks.